Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Attention please. Before we study, let's pray together. Pray, pray begin. Finish. Greet our teacher. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, class. How are you today? I'm fine, thank, thank you. you. How about thank you? you? Alhamdulillah, good to hear that. I'm good. Okay, let me check the attendance list first. What date is today? Um, Berapa sekarang? 23rd. Oh yeah, okay. Um, Meliana Dewi? Present, ma'am. Uh, Raihana Furqani? Present, ma'am. Okay, is there anyone absent today? Adifa, ma'am. Adifa? Adifa is sick. Sick? Oh my. And then? What really, else? ma'am? Really? What happened? I don't know. Mm, Alpha, okay. So before we continue the lesson, I have a mini game. Wow. So I will draw something and you will describe what I draw. Describe, not guessing. For example, it's just an example, right? I will draw this. What is it? It's a book. book. Describe it. Uh, example is uh, something uh, something related to school or something that students always bring when they go to school. Like that. You describe like that. And now let's begin the game. What will draw? Um, what is it? Describe. Uh, I wanna try, ma'am. Yes. Um, you have to open this thing where you want to enter the room. Um, okay, that's good. Anyone else? No. Okay, then now your turn. Your turn. And I will describe. Me, ma'am. Want to go first? Okay. This, please. Try, ma'am. Yes. Uh, you have to uh, put this in the press. Put this in the press. Okay, that's good. And your turn. Okay. Want to describe me or you? I want to try, ma'am. Yes, please. Uh, something you use when you want to sit. Okay, that's great. Give applause for us. Let's do the stretching for our brain before we start the lesson. Now, <clears throat> anyone still remember what we discussed last week? Um, um present. Simple present. Yes, simple present. And um, two days ago, I gave you the new material that we will discuss today. What is it? Simple past tense. Past tense. Have you read it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, that's good. Uh, what do you think about the difference between simple present and past tense? Uh, me, ma'am. Uh, yes, simple ma present itu digunakan untuk um, sehari-hari kegiatan sehari-hari, ma'am. That's good. Um, simple present digunakan untuk menyatakan fakta. Okay, that's good. Simple present itu kegiatan yang sehari-hari contohnya contoh keterangan itu seperti always or every day something like that and what about past tense um, past tense digunakan untuk kegiatan yang sudah terjadi ma'am uh, masa lampau ma'am okay <laughs> yep you're right and then oh yeah uh, we can find we can find the past tense form in text in narrative text and free context but two of it is uh, quite similar jadi apa bedanya? karena naratif dan recount itu hampir sama bedanya kalau naratif itu biasanya menceritakan tentang dongeng, legenda 
Lalu kalau recount itu menceritakan tentang pengalaman pribadi atau biografi Dan sekarang coba kita buat contoh kalimat yang menggunakan past tense Siapa yang mau beri kalimat saya? Um, saya Mbak Apa kalimatnya? Saya pergi ke Bandung kemarin Oke, okay, in English please I went I went Bandung To Bandung. to Bandung yesterday yes um, okay have a look on the verb here one in past time we use uh, there are two kinds of verb uh, of verb it is irregular or regular Irregular itu kata kerja tidak beraturan dan regular yang beraturan. Contohnya seperti apa? Kalau reg- irregular yang tidak beraturan itu drink. Ini bentuk pertamanya. Kalau drink, bentuk kedua drunk, bentuk ketiga. Regular yang beraturan yang beraturan contohnya walk. Apa walk? Berjalan. Apa yang membedakan irregular dan regular? Ada yang bisa lihat dari sini perbedaannya? Bentuk kata kerja pertama, kedua dan ketiganya berbeda untuk yang irregular. Yes, and regular sama semua ya kedua dan ketiganya. Dan itu pakai id atau b yang kalau sudah berakhir berakhiran i, i e ya maksudnya. Lalu kalau di contoh kalimat ini kita pakainya apa? Regular atau irregular? Irregular Karena Karena bentuk pertama, pertama kedua, dan ketiganya, ketiganya beda Memang bentuk pertama dan ketiganya apa? Go And gone Yeah, that's good Okay, now we will make, make the negative form and interrogative Oops This positive We will make the negative form I want to try, ma'am. Yes. Uh, I didn't go to Bandung yesterday. Wow. Uh, why do we use did? Because, uh, karena kita udah pakai did. Itu kenapa kita pakai go? Pakai did, pakai did ini untuk kata bantu yang digunakan dalam kalimat past tense Untuk bentuk kalimat negatif dan interrogatif nanti <tuh> Kenapa bentuk ya? Go baru tadi Karena sudah ada did Jadi bentuk Jadi verbnya balik ke bentuk pertama Seperti itu Lalu bagaimana dengan kalimat interrogative? Ada yang bisa? Gini, ma'am Yes, please Did you Did you That's go to good. Bandung yesterday? Sama ya akhirannya Ya benar, ditnya jadi di depan ya Jadi kalian sudah baca, oke okay, bagus Dan, <coughs> oh ya yeah. I think you, you already understand about this material, right? Wow, and now I think it's enough for today so, But you may go home after You make a sentence You make a sentence uh, by using nouns you draw before Ada ingat tadi gambar apa aja? Gambar kursi. bunga Yes, you can make a sentence uh, But positive, negative, and interrogative Let me try ma'am Okay, using um, past tense ya yeah. Okay, for the positive one is My mom um, fell from the chair this morning mm-hmm. And for the negative is My mom didn't fall from the chair this morning Yes. And from the and for the interrogative, okay. uh, my mom. Mm-hmm. Uh, did my mom fall from the chair this morning? Okay, that's great. Anyway, go home. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Ready? Uh, me, ma'am. Yes. Uh, she bought a flower yesterday. Mm-hmm. Uh, she didn't buy a flower yesterday. Mm-hmm. Did she? Buy a flower yesterday. That's really good. You may go home. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. See you.